we're using a vanishing point. Pretty simple. The first thing you want to do is have a nice ellipse. It can be a perfect circle, it can be more of an oval, you can decide. And I will show you one, let's think about this, above the horizon as well. If you struggle with drawing these ellipses, find one to trace, I don't mind. Okay, these are fast and so simple. What you're going to do is you're going to take your vanishing point, let me give myself some dots, and I'm just going to take the tip of the cylinder that I drew, or I'm sorry, the ellipse. So I draw really, really light from the bottom. I'm going to take it from the top, but I kind of want to see what I'm doing. It's really nice if you have a plastic ruler that's see-through. I do have one. I could not find it. And then you're going to go back. Okay, this is the tricky part. Not too hard. You're going to take that ellipse and you want, to, you want to mimic it back here. And when I say mimic, I don't want you to have like a longer oval. If I drew a center here, see how I have it? It's a little bit longer. I wouldn't want to have like a fat circle because this curve here needs to mimic this curve here. And if it's really wide and that's really long, that's gonna, not going to look like the same shape. Okay. And so all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and darken it up. And I'm going to take my lines and darken it up. Draw with confidence. And then I'm going to darken this line up because I'm confident and happy about it. And then I'm going to erase all my marks. And that is literally all it takes to draw your cylinder. Three-dimensionally, Grandma and Grandpa are going to be super proud of you. Yes? Oh, yes, that's so great. Okay, so if we do one above the horizon, it's literally the same thing. Boom, vanishing top. Oh, you know what? I use the same vanishing point. Let's try the other side, just to, just to be friendly to you guys. Bottom. Top. Erase this, not to confuse you. We're going to recreate that ellipse back here, so I have this curve. And I can be a little bit lazy and just say, yeah, that's pretty close. And then I'm going to erase these. If that pretty close makes you feel uncomfortable, every single time you can draw the full oval on the inside, it does not matter. Darken these lines up. Just go past it like I just did. If you do, just redraw that line a little bit lower. Okay, and I could shade. I could add a little bit of shadow down here. Okay, pretty dang easy guys.